Hey guys, it's Carson Miller Tech here, back with another video, and recently I went and put up a community post on this channel asking subscribers what you guys want to see in regards to the brand new DJI Mini 2. And an overwhelming amount of the comments left on that post were in regards to the range slash OcuSync of this new Mini 2. And a lot of people also want to see a comparison between that OcuSync 2.0 and the original DJI Mavic Mini's Wi-Fi transmission. So if you didn't know that the Mini 2 has OcuSync 2.0, now you know. And what that means really is that the transmission should theoretically have a much stronger performance and allow the drone to go much further or be able to not cut out at closer ranges. So in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is putting these up head to head, Wi-Fi versus OcuSync 2.0 and figuring out how much of a difference that really makes. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alrighty, so as I'm going and getting this up and ready to be in flight, I will be noting that first I'm gonna begin with the original DJI Mavic Mini. And I also want to address that if you're coming here to watch this video and see a full on foot for foot comparison range test between the Mavic Mini and the DJI Mini 2, I'm not gonna be doing that, but hold on. The reason is because a lot of people don't actually know this, especially after watching YouTube videos about range tests. But uh, in the United States, when you are flying a drone, you have to always maintain visual line of sight with your drone. And so that means you have to be able to physically see it with your eyes, no binoculars, nothing else. And you're supposed to be able to see it in the sky at all times. So that does not include being able to just watch the live video feed off of your phone or tablet that comes from the drone's camera that's not visual line of sight. So in this video, I'm not gonna be going for distance necessarily. And the reason why is because I'm gonna be flying this in a high interference area. And I know that the drones cut out at a certain point pretty much all the time, but Wi-Fi controlled drones tend to cut off a little bit sooner. So I'm gonna be figuring out how much further the original DJI Mavic Mini or the Mini 2 can go before the signal starts cutting out or dropping out or the controller loss is just completely there immediately. So with that being said, let's get this up in the air. Alrighty. So I'm going to be taking this up to a height of around 100 feet and then just pretty much flying straight out until I begin to experience some cutout. So as of right now, I'm not really experiencing much. I'm not sure exactly why I experience a lot of interference over in this area. It's probably because it's just this big industrial park and there's a lot of metal and stuff around, but I'm not exactly 100% sure why. As of this point, you do see that the feed is pretty laggy. Oh, weak signal. I'm out at about 1,200 feet. I'm moving forward a little bit more to see if I can get a little bit more distance before it fully cuts out, but already i'm at 1300 feet now 1500 and i'm starting to see the rc is giving me full on red bars and it is blinking at me and letting me know that it cannot really uh connect to the controller i do want to make note that i am pointing the controller with its antenna pointing directly at the drone right now so i'll be doing exactly the same with the mini 2 but uh yeah so i'll go just a little bit further see if i can go any further mm. I don't want to risk it too much, so at this point, I'm going to go and bring it home at the orange two bar to red one bar. I'm going to make note of that. Let's come on, bring it back home. See if spinning it makes any difference. Sometimes it can make a difference when you go and spin the drone around depending on where the antenna are in the drone. In the Mavic Mini's case, there are antenna in the front two, I believe. So it can make a little bit of a difference, not a huge difference, but still. Oh, and right as I was turning around, I fully lost signal. All right, and as I'm nearing home, I do wanna mention that yes, OcuSync does go and make an impact on the range that a drone can fly, but it also impacts the quality of the live feed that you get on your phone between your drone and your phone didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it really does make a difference. And the reason for that is because as the signal is stronger, it's able to go and transmit a stronger picture that you can go and see on your phone, which is overall a good thing to have. And I personally support and I love about that. So that is one thing to mention and note is that when you're looking at this Mavic Mini feed, you will notice that the original Mavic Mini does tend to go and just 
be a little choppy at times and it's not as favorable compared to something where it is a solid feed with the AccuSync 2.0. So you'll see that in just a little bit with the Mini 2. So with that in mind, let's bring it on down and get the Mini 2 up into the air. Alrighty, so everything is on and good. Let's go and get this up into the air. Man, I just love how much more quiet the Mini 2 is. It's incredible how much quieter it is. I'm gonna go up to that 100 foot height once again. There we go. And just fly out here. Um, I am pointing the controller this is exact same direction. I'm gonna try and maintain a full on straightaway connection between the controller and the drone so there's no difference there hopefully. But as I'm flying out here, gonna try and just keep flying straight out pretty much how I did with the original Mavic Mini and as you'll see right around here I'll move around the gimbal just so you can see that this is a live feed and it's not super glitchy I am NOT at this point experiencing any issues with that cutout like I was experiencing before remember at around 1200 feet I was starting to experience some dropout but uh, not here Honestly, I could, wow, okay. <laughs> so I'm now getting around to 1,600 feet. I personally am not okay taking it really any further than 2,000 feet. So let's just take it to 2,000 feet and stop around right there. So look at that right here. I've still got full control, no lag, and five bars of remote controller signal. That is pretty incredible right there. And it's like near instantaneous feedback. So as you can see on the screen right now, which I've got synced up as I move the joystick. And even right now, let's point the controller. Okay, so as I'm turning the controller, you can see a really good example of why it matters where your controller is pointing. Because as I turn my controller to the side, you'll see the remote controller bar drops out. I can turn it even more, almost do a full 180. And at this point, it's down to three bars. Also, if you point it straight up and down like this, uh, yeah, you're not gonna have the greatest signal. So that is something to note that the controller position in regards to where your drone is, is very important. The antennas are right here in the front, pointing out that way. So as you hold it like this, it can go and broadcast out the signal. But yeah, so there we go. I'm out 2000 feet. Let's go and bring it back home and see if I have any issues as I'm bringing it home. I shouldn't. But you know, just to check, just to see if there's any difference there, we'll figure out. I really do like how much better of a signal you get with AccuSync 2.0. I pretty much already saw this result coming, but you know, I still figured it would be interesting to capture it on video. It is a pretty big difference in my opinion between this AccuSync 2.0 and a regular Wi-Fi drone. And the biggest part of all this that I really like is the fact that you can just fly it even in closer range and you don't have any of that jitter. As I'm bringing it home and concluding this, um, there were a couple people that asked about range extenders for the Mini 2. And, you know, I personally don't think I would ever add a range extender to a drone that already claims that it has up to 10 kilometers of range but you know i understand there are some people they got their hobbies they do their things maybe you're flying in a really high interference area you know maybe it makes sense then but for me personally again i wouldn't necessarily do it but if you are getting a range extender i believe there are range extenders out there on the market for accusync 2.0 drones but i'm not exactly sure if they have it for this mini 2 slash mavic air 2 controller yet but with the mini 2 i just really don't see a huge need to add on a range extender or booster but if you are looking to do that with your mini 2 i actually went and made a couple of months ago a diy version of it that you can go and make probably in about 30 minutes with things that you likely have laying around your house right now and it goes right onto this controller and goes onto the antenna which is pretty awesome and it's entirely free as long as you've got all the materials and it's very easy to make as well. So if you're interested in going and having range extender, it will go and prevent these Mavic Mini hiccups at closer ranges and even at further distances, then make sure to go check out that video right up there. But there you have it. That is the DJI Mini 2 versus the original DJI Mavic Mini. And overall, I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the extended range of the new Mini 2. I personally haven't experienced any cutouts 
with that range yet. But with that being said, that is pretty much it for this video. Make sure to go and leave some comments down below of other things that you wanna see in regards to the Mini 2 because I'm all up for making more videos or about the original Mavic Mini because I've still got this guy and I wanna fly this guy around as well. So make sure to let me know down in the comments what you wanna see. But with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know by clicking the thumbs up button down below as well as subscribing for future videos like this. And also, if you wanna check out my last video, that is right up there and my Mini 2 review video will be down there. So with that being said, that is it for this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.